Hello, Corn. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm happy. Yay, good. Okay, we can start our lesson. Is your camera working? Yes. Yes. Hello, Mintu. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Are you good? Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Okay. I didn't see you for a long time. Okay. We're going to do some reading today. Uh, Mintu, you can read first for me. Uh, an office. An office. Go. A timetable. Good. A bin. Guns. A flag. A drum. Student. Very good. Okay. Khan, can you read for me? A puzzle. Concert. Yes, good. Wood. Business. A newspaper. A cushion. Cushions. Cushion. Okay. And? Factories. Factories. Okay, I want to show you what cushions are. Why is it so slow? Okay, these are cushions. It goes on your sofa. Okay, or, or on your bed. Let's go back. Um, number one, Mintu. Uh, this building has got a lot of matches. Quick makes most of the things we buy. Uh, a puzzle. Yeah. Uh, a factory. Yay, good. Okay, well done. Number two, Khan. Ready? People are making larger picture from a small pie in the many people make a larger picture from the small pieces in this. So it's almost like a game. A puzzle. Yes. Good. Okay, number three, min two. Um this is why you put the paper and things you don't need to use again. Uh, a bin. Yes, very good. Number four, Khan. Some grow up start reading this every day to learn. What happened in this world? A newspaper. Yay. Okay. Mean two, number five. Um, this instrument makes a lot of noise. Boom, boom, boom. A boom. Drum. Yes. A drum. Good. Con number six. This while on a ship, people do is to make warm clothes. This grows on sheep. People use it to make warm clothes. It's like the sheep's hair. A timetable. Uh, um, wool. wool, wool. Okay, comes from the sheep. 
Okay. Uh, number seven, Mintu. Um, um, uh, every country has one object with different designs and colors. Uh, um, uh, Oh, sorry, we've got wool. Every Go. country has one. It has different colors. A uh, oh. oh, flat. Yay. Okay. Car number eight. Is there you when you have a lesson at school? A timetable. Very good. Okay, uh, number nine. Um, this comes from trees and people use it to make things like shelf, desk, and cupboards. Uh, a wood. Yes, wood. Good. Okay, good. Last one, Khan, number 10. The, a person who goes to school, college, or university to learn things is called this. A student. Yay. Okay. Like you guys are students. Okay, part two. Frank's friend Sophia is going to have her birthday party at a cafe. Frank is asking her some questions about her party. What does Sophia say? Okay. Um, let me make it so we can see. Okay, we can make it bigger. Okay, let's do the example, Mintu. Hi, Sophia. Are you excited for your birthday party next week? I can't wait, but there's still a lot of a lot to do. Okay, Khan, would you like some help? No, my mom is making my cake. Oh, yes, what? please. I haven't. This is worst game to play. I haven't decided what games to play. Okay, good. I know this one sounds like it could be right, but you were asking about help. Okay, Min too. Well, the cafe does have Wi Fi, doesn't it? Uh, uh, yes, it does. Oh, yes. We could play some online games together. Okay. Khan, that's right. Have you heard of the new sports game? Uh, if you play sports, you have a competition? Uh, uh, correct. Yes. Yes. We can't have a conversation come on. It's time for class. Okay, Min too. We could meet after school to talk more about it. Um, that's that's a good idea. Thanks for your help. <coughs> Um, no problem, uh, Con. No problem. Uh, see you. See you later. Okay. If you if you want to say goodbye to somebody, you can also say see you later. It's the same as saying goodbye. Okay. Let's see. Um. 
I'm going to write our words very quickly. Okay, just give me one minute. Ah, great. One minute, one minute. Okay. Okay. Park. Gate. Anyone. Pushed. Winter. Oops. Uh, midday. Foggy. Sound. Path. Spoke. Okay. Let's start. Um, Mintu, you're going to do number one. One day last April, I was walking my dog, a uh, girl in the park. It's got jo early George. in the park. George, George in the park. It's got early in the morning be before school. And it's got quiet. Quiet? Uh, it was quiet. Uh, so I couldn't see very well. Um, uh, the weather. Quiet. Uh, quite foggy, so yes. I couldn't see very well. Good. Do you know what foggy is, Mintu? Do you know foggy? Must I show you? Oh, my computer is slow. Okay, this mid this is foggy. When it's yeah. white, it's white in the air. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Khan. We were. We were walking along. Along a. Along. A part. A Let me show. When suddenly. When suddenly. Okay, this is a path. It's a place where you walk. Path. Okay. Okay. Me too. Suddenly, I heard. Um. Uh, suddenly, uh, I heard the. Uh, Uh, I heard. I heard. I heard the anyone of yes. something. As uh, I hear the sound of something like falling into the water. Okay. Then I yeah. heard a child shouting, "Help! I can't swim!" He said. Can. There wasn't. Um, there's no person. There wasn't any. Then anyone. There was around, and I could see where the show was coming from. So I turned to John and say, "Go on, boy." He ran past and me jump into the river. Okay. Um, Mintu, you can read to the end. <clears throat> My dog is coming to save you. I shall hold it onto him soon. 
George was pulling. George was pulling a small boy out of the river. <coughs> he was very wet and very scared. Uh, uh, you safe now? I sell to him. Then I, uh, I, to George. I like uh, talk. I spoke to just. He was very glad to, but very excited. Goodbye. I shall give you a sauces when we get to. Okay, well done. Khan, what's the name of the story? What did George get at the end? George gets a shot of cheese. Okay, so we, okay. Good, part four. Um, the weather. Okay. Um, for this one, Khan, you're going to read up to there. Mintu, you will do the next one. When the sun, wind, I, I am snow are all different kind of weather. Uh, at, on, on, at the weather is correct if you live in the deep, not yeah or. For the far the north, north or the far south? The far north or the far south. The hotel in the midst of the plant. Some of the countries in the north have long winter with snow on the ground for many of the year. Or? Most of the year. They also have long night with only a few hot apply during the day. I on the road make ice. I on the road make the ride. Ring. Driving. Difficult and car need to have spy special terrace. Special, special terrace. terrace. Uh, special okay. Uh, mean two number six. Um, um. We talk when people yeah. is a uh, people in hot countries will find it difficult to uh, uh stay cool. Good. Uh, countries we have for sunny summer. Um, are great. great for beach holidays, but uh. Uh, if they are too hot, um, they often have breezes. In the de uh, desert, there is very little rain every day. Plants and animals find it difficult to live there in such weather because there is no little water. Countries that have uh uh that have um e. E. 
in in and now and now rain are usually very green because trees grass grass and plants grow well there um uh because there are also lots of cloudy days in those countries. Okay, well done. Very good. Part five. Late for school. Okay, let's read our story. Late for school. Okay. Um, con, Mintu, one minute. Mintu, con. From Monday to Friday, Rod wake up at seven o'clock. And cut the bus to school at eight. But today he woke up at half past seven. He he quickly got the rest, brushing his teeth and left the house. He he didn't have all time to eat breakfast. I say good morning to his parents. Okay, me too. Uh. Uh, just ran down the road to the bus stop, but he was too late for the school bus. I take the train. He thought it's really fast, so I meet might might still arrive arrive uh, arrive at school before lesson start. He ran to the train station. As first as he could and bought a ticket. But when he walked onto the Whoops. plan, uh, walked, uh, but when he walked onto the platform, the train was leaving. He read a timetable and found out that there wasn't another train for a house. An hour. And how? Then he looked at the a cloud in the station. It was a really big day. There was nothing he could do now. Somebody, please help me. I need to get to school. He shouted. Okay, good. Come on. Ben, George, here yeah, his mom. George was the mother. You talking in your sleep, she said. He woke up. I'm late for school, mom, he said. But it's Sunday, John. You don't have to go to school today, said his mom, start steadily. George understood he was just a dream. He feel happy and sleep again. Okay. Okay, now let's look at our questions. Okay, we don't need the examples. Okay, Mintu, number one. Uh, just left his house without speaking. Uh, Think uh um, without speaking to uh to say good morning to his parents. Okay. To his parents without speaking to his parents. Con number two. He delays to he decided to decided. Take the 
to take the train after he misses the bus. Okay. Mintu? Uh, he got, uh, he got a ticket. Oh, he got to, okay. He, he got, uh. Yes, a he, ticket. He got. Good. Uh, car number five. Oh, sorry, number four. He has to wait. How long? How long until the next train comes? It's, uh, it's wait. an hour. An hour. Okay. Mintu, number five. Um, 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 who woke him up? Uh, uh, George's mum woke him up. Okay. Car number six. That it doesn't need to go to school because it's sunny. It's Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Last one, Mintu. Um, he tried to go back. Um, two, uh, back to, go back to live, live again. Yes. Okay. After he spoke to his mom. Well done. Good job. Let's carry on. Now we have to write from our minds. Dear William. Um, there's only five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Khan, you can read the example and do number one and two. Oh. Yeah, William, I'm having to. I'm, I'm having, having a. I'm having a. Lovely, lovely, lovely time here with my grandparents. I'm staying at the house in the countryside. That is small, but don't. But I don't. But I don't. Meet my mind. I don't mind. Every day we do something different. We ha have a lot of time outside. We spend. Okay. Mean too yesterday. Um, this day we went to the castle. It was on top of a big hill. There was, uh, lot of yes. stairs to climb. Mm. Good. But, but the, the view from there was great. Today, we are going to a farm. I mean two you must do to the end. Um <laughs> can't wait to see uh, the animals. I've been so busy. I have 
No. Uh, I haven't turned. Turned. Uh, off or on. I haven't turned. On the TV once. Okay, let's do some writing. Look at the pictures and write about this story. Okay, Khan, tell me what you see in the first picture. In the first picture, that the that say we don't have any water. What are they doing? They are the a boy and his father are camping. The dad say to oh his son say to his son. Um. Oh, let's uh, he, tell. Sorry, he, the dad tells tells his, his son. son. That they don't have they don't have water any water left to cook yeah. dinner. Okay, left. They are They're sad. Feeling sad. Okay. Mintu, next picture, what do you see? A nice uh um the boy is go to the river and uh, get some water. Uh and uh, he's near the uh near the uh, he is near the uh water when uh oh, when a swan when a swan flies at him okay uh the swan is pro Protecting her babies. Okay. Um uh, next con of finally the boy is running very fast and he has and he was very afraid. Uh, went up the swarm. He got a little bit of water. A little bit of water in his bottle. Okay. So Good. Happy. Okay. Okay, well done. Um, Mintu, can you read it for me? A boy and his father are camping. The dad tells his son that tire don't Sorry, let me fix have this. any water left to cook dinner. They are falling sad. The boy goes to the river to get some water. He is near the water when a swan flies at him. The swan is protect her babies. Finally, the boy run, runs very fast uh, to his father because he was very afraid of the swan. He got a little bit of water in his bottle. 
The father is happy. Okay, con. Uh, a boy and his father are camping. The dad tells his son that they don't have any water left to cook dinner. They are feeling sad. The boy goes to, re to the river to get some water. He is near the water when a swarm flies at him. The swarm is protecting her babies. Protecting. Protecting her babies. Finally, the boy runs very fast to his father because he was very afraid to the swarm. He lost a little of, bit what afraid of of the squad. He got a little bit of water in the bottle. The father is happy. Okay, very good. Now we'll just do a little bit of listening until we finished our lesson. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, we have a few minutes left. Michael, Harry, Anna. Well, that's very small. Is that okay? You can see it? Okay, let me... Um, just want to find it quickly. Okay. There is one example. Look, Uncle Harry, I took this photo when I was in hospital. Wow, so many children. Who's that boy jumping on the bed? That's Harry. He was a bit naughty. He doesn't look very sick. He was better that day. He was going home. <laughs> Can you see the line? <clears throat> this is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Okay. Can, Can you see the nurse holding the medicine? Yes, the bond one, standing on the left. Her name's Helen. She was very friendly. I think the boy didn't want his medicine. No, he didn't. But she was kind, so he took it in the end. The nurse... Yes, good. Mintu? There's a boy with a broken arm. What's his name? The one on the chair? No, the one in the bed, reading a comic. Oh, yes, that's Michael. How did he break his arm? He was playing hockey. Mean to? Very good, Con. Look at the nurse who's standing between the two beds. Do you remember her? I don't think so. Should I? Yes, she's my cousin Anna. Oh yes, with the red hair. I remember now. I was happy she was there. She helps me a lot. Good. Mintu? Do you know the girl in the red dress? No, but I know the boy behind her with the temperature. With the scarf around his neck? What's his name? It's George. That's our football team's scarf. 
We're on the same team at school. With the scarf on his neck? George? Okay. Con? What about the other boy with the broken arm? Who's that? You mean the one looking sad? Yes. That's Richard. He was going to play the piano in the school concert, but now he can't. Oh dear. Well, I'm pleased that you are better now. Okay, good. Let's carry on. Part two. Bring your pet to school day. Okay. So this will be Mintu, Khan. Okay. Now listen to part one again. No, not again. What happens if a pet is scared, miss? You don't have to bring it, Betty. You can bring some photos and use them to talk about it. Oh, that's good. My lizard doesn't like being near lots of... You are better now. Okay. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. All right, children. Before you go... What did we say we are doing this week? It's our Bring Your Pet to School Day, Miss Singer. That's right, Betty. It's on Thursday. I'm so excited about it. Mintu, what time? I'll see the answer. Now you listen and write. And what else must you remember? The time. Yes. It's right after lunch, at two o'clock in the afternoon. What? <clears throat> Good, okay, Con. Students must bring. What happens if a pet is scared, miss? You don't have to bring it, Betty. You can bring some photos and use them to talk about it. Oh, that's good. My lizard doesn't like being near lots of people. And if any of you do not have pets, don't worry. You can make a poster of a pet you would like to have. Oh. Then... Bring the pets. Oh, awesome. Good. Mean too, students without pets can bring a poster of a pet. A poster. Can you write poster? Must I help you, Mintu? Are you okay? Good. Okay. Con number four. Parents must bring. And you can show it to the class and explain why you chose that animal. Is there anything else we should bring, Miss? Food or water? No, it's not a good idea to feed them here. But please tell your parents to bring a few towels or their cages. Good. 
Good. Okay. Mint and what happens if our parents can't come, Miss? Can they email you? No. Please tell them to phone the school and tell Mr. Bright. That's B R I G H T. Who must they phone? Mr. Bright. I don't hear. Okay, I'm going to tell you again. Mr. Bright. B R I G H T. Yes, okay, good. Um, we're almost done for today. Let's keep going. We'll do part three. What did each person give Emma? Okay. Okay, what did each person give Emma? He works in the office. It's going to be an amazing day. A cup. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. What did each person give Emma? Emma, I think this is your cousin Sarah's. What's it doing on your Ooh. bed? Oh, don't worry, Mum. She wants me to send this toy to the children's hospital. My teacher's going to take some presents there. Look, all my cousins gave me something to send. I was quite surprised when she gave me her violin. Yes, she loved it when she was young. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Con number one. I don't know which. Is this one Katie's? When did you see her? At her birthday party last week. She got so many new toys and she wanted to give this cushion to the sick children. Oh, it's a dinosaur and it's so soft. Yes, it's made of wool. Katie? Katie gave the dinosaur. Who? Katie. Who do you mean? Katie gave a dinosaur. Oh, Con. Sorry, sorry, Con. Sorry. Okay, Mintu. And look at how small and light these are. They're made of plastic. They're golf clubs for practicing inside. And the ball is so soft, it won't break anything. You got these from William, didn't you? I remember him playing with them. That's right, Mum. Where have I seen... William got the plastic golf... Very good. These before. On the beach last summer, remember? Everyone had bracelets like these. You bought some for me and Sophia. Oh, yes, that's right. And she had the same ones at home. Yes, she's keeping yours and she's giving the old ones to the kids. Sophia with the bracelet. What did Oliver give you? 
Sophia with the bracelets. Con. This is a bracelet. Okay. Our lesson is finished for today. We're not going to finish here. We are done. Happy? Yes. Yes, well done. Yes. I will see you next time. Bye. Goodbye, boys. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.